Cape Town, South Africa, sometimes called the Tavern of the Seas, is a stunning port city with incredible food and the most stunning vistas. Chef Ruben Riffle likes to defy the odds. Born and raised only 90 minutes away from the city with 12 siblings, Ruben trained hard and built an enviable reputation abroad before bringing his deliciously honed craft back home. Okay, that's perfect. We need to love our food. Well, we love your food, Jocelyn Myers Adam. Hailing from the far north, and by that we mean Canada, this first lady of food packs two punches, as she also is a sommelier. And then there's Luke Dale Roberts. This London transplant really is Mr. Continental Cuisine, with a heavy nod to the east, having worked in Singapore, Malaysia, and Tokyo, before landing firmly on the Cape. Let's do this now, eh? So, just how is this cosmopolitan, culturally diverse seaside city getting such a foodie reputation? We're here to uncover the real story, the story on eating and eating well in Cape Town, South Africa. Right here, right now on Three Chefs, One City. Three Chefs, One City looks at the world's great food destination through the eyes of its three most successful chefs. This time, we're in Cape Town, South Africa, with an eclectic mix of chefs, all with international food cred. It's difficult to describe it, but just the smell of it, Cape Town's got it all for me. This spectacular city has something for all your senses. I love South African wines. But most importantly, your sense of taste. I'm Chef Justin Myers Adams. I'm Chef Luke Dale Roberts. I'm Ruben Ruffel, and this is my Cape Town. This is my Cape Town. This is my Cape Town. We don't have a test kitchen, we know what works. Let me tell you, this ain't no test kitchen, this is the real deal. <laughs> Fun, offbeat, independent. Chef Luke Dale Roberts is not your average chef. Having trained in kitchens from the west to the far east, Luke is an award-winning chef with a flair for amazing both his peers and diners. My uncle was actually in the hotel industry and he suggested, why don't you try something within the hotel industry? And I realized that I actually loved cooking. I always cooked with my mum when I was a little one. And as soon as I made that decision, I became obsessed with it. And then when I became a head chef in London, myself and my wife decided to move to Asia. And I think that very much defined me as a chef. Six years in Asia, it was time to move on, and it was a choice between London and Cape Town, and Cape Town won hands down. Constantly pushing the boundaries when developing recipes, Luke owns and runs two unique restaurants in the Woodstock district of Cape Town, an area he knows and loves. A district increasing in popularity as it opens up to artisans, crafters, and of course, foodies. I think the vision that I had was based on all of my experiences that I've had to date. And I wanted the kitchen to be the center stage. Everyone wants to know about the food now. They, they don't just want to look at it, eat it, and, and say, wow, that's yum. Uh, they want to know how it was made, and they want to see the action, because everyone's excited by that these days. Across the laneway is the Potluck Club, a hip place to hang in the evening with a panoramic view of the area. I had this idea of this um, tapas thing that I wanted to try. So we opened it up with 30 seats. Okay, so as you can see, the potluck is uh, being refurnished now. Quite a heavy Asian influence, because I think that works very well with um, small plates, big flavors. The vision was basically to try and take as many of the local artists and designers, put them all together, mix it up. Bevan, you'll find his shop downstairs. Casamento, you can see just over the road, they did the couches. Crockery was done by Imiso. These screens, my wife did, uh, did a chair. It's basically trying to get um, yeah, as many of the local talented people together to create a, a unique space. Um, and I think we've done it. It's a pity that it's just a building site at the moment. It's, it's got a cool feel about it, you know, which, which is great. Cape Town is, I mean, there's no other city like it in the world. And what's unique about it is it's a city, but within a, a 15 minute proximity, you can be by the sea. 
You can be in the winelands. You can be walking in the mountains. And it's, it's like you're on holiday, you know, the, the beaches are beautiful, the whole pace slows down, and my best thing ever now is surfing. I'm still terrible at it, but it is the best escape. No one can touch you when you're out there, you know, so it's, it's fantastic. I think I might go later if I can, eh? if I can sneak one in. A friendly fixture in his neighborhood. For Chef Luke, sourcing local everything is a priority. Well, I think the local food is, is um, tremendous, and there's some very unique stuff here. Like, you've got unique game, Springbok, Blairsbok, Irland. And on top of that, there's so many producers now that are focused on quality. Luke's unmatched dishes are enhanced by his careful selection of ingredients. He knows that nothing beats South African fish, and he knows where to find it. So this is Two Oceans, Warren's the owner. I love his fish, he's got beautiful produce. He's got fresh fish every day. I'll often pop over here, see what he's got, and see what can inspire me. Okay, Warren, so, so just tell us what we got here. This is the carpentoo. Locally, we call it the silver fish. Right. This comes from Stoll Bay and from Hans Bay. So look at this, eh? I mean, you don't get fresher fish than that. Warren is the man. If you want <laughs> fresh fish, come see Warren. Well, it all looks absolutely stunning. I think I want to take one of these uh, carpenter fish and see what I can do with that. If you can fill it for me well, and scale it, that. that would be even better. I think what's brilliant about South Africa as a country is that it's not too defined by the local cuisine that is here, like France, Italy. Whereas here, everyone you know, can actually experiment with whatever they want. The versatility of, of this place is unreal, and I think as a food place, it's just exploding. Luke heads up his team at the Test Kitchen with his distinctive style of cuisine. We opened the Test Kitchen with literally three chefs and two staff in the front of the house. Now I think I've got 16 chefs and I've got probably about 15, 20 people in the front of the house as well. So what I think we're going to do is make a cure, lemon zest, lemon juice, fennel, rock salt, a little bit of sugar. I'm going to cure all the offcuts and make what's called a brand art. And a lot of my daily work is, um, is about mentoring, training, and managing those people to all work together. I was the head chef here, by the way. He does all the real work, and I just come in and do the frilly bits on top. It's something I enjoy a lot, but I always want to keep my finger on the food. My, my hands need to always be involved in the food. And the Test Kitchen really is about pushing flavor boundaries, conceptual boundaries, just trying to come up with something completely different. No stranger to the world's 50 best restaurants rating, Luke's Test Kitchen received the One to Watch Award in 2013. That's huge for me because it's, you know, it's recognition on a global scale and it just means that we're doing something pretty cool, you know, and, and that's what it should be about, doing something cool and having fun while you're doing it as well. So, that's that lovely carpenter fish that we picked up from Warren today. I think it's pretty much good enough to put on the menu. My favorite thing to cook in the world is food. Three Chefs, One City is here in Cape Town, located on the Cape Peninsula of South Africa. The coastal region of the city boasts some of the most stunning beaches and, of course, the best outdoor dining in the world. The famous Table Mountain forms the backdrop of the city and rises to an elevation of 3,300 feet, or 1,000 meters. As you can see, this city is no stranger to extremes. Speaking of extremes, the infamous Table Bay Hotel overlooking Cape Town Harbor claims an extremely well-traveled, well-trained chef who likes to keep it simple. I'm Chef Jocelyn Myers Adams, and this is my Cape Town. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm the one that's from Cape Town. <laughs> Executive Chef Jocelyn Myers Adams has worked with celebrity chefs around the world, including Conrad Gallagher and Gordon Ramsay. Being the executive chef at the Table Bay Hotel is not for the lighthearted. It's a challenging position, but I'm supported by a wonderful team. I'm gonna put it back again. I've never enjoyed a job more than this position that I have now. You're gonna flip the pan and you're gonna yeah. use it. Yeah. Yeah. That a girl. One of the points of interest at the Table Bay Hotel is the harbor. It's a bustling little community here. You get to see the boats coming in and out and you really feel like you're a part of the action. Having traveled and worked around the globe, Jocelyn now permanently makes her home in South Africa. I've been in a lot of different cities in the world. I've been in London, I've been in 
France, Italy, Australia, and the United States, but Cape Town is extremely special. Don't be misled, she knows the city and she loves South Africa. The energy, the people, the flavors, the vibe. Cape Town is a wonderful city. It's very multicultural, it's dynamic, but it still holds that little small town feel. You get a multitude of different types of cultures and people from around the world. And we're challenged to make sure that we accommodate all of their tastes. Thank you very much, Chef. There's lots to do. Table Mountain, there's beaches. There's always something to keep you interested. The thing that you're gonna love about the people of South Africa is that they're all very accommodating. They have what you call Ubuntu, which is a term that they use to describe togetherness and love and generosity. Being in South Africa as a chef has been extremely interesting from the get-go. But the, the great thing about South Africa, there's a lot of interesting products, local products. A lot of the products seem more holistic because they more naturally produced the smaller quantities, not so mass produced like you would in, in, in larger communities. And the, the quality produces much more beautiful dishes in the, as an end result. Also trained as a sommelier, Chef Jocelyn is actively involved in every aspect of her kitchen. I was a chef before I was a sommelier, and then I was a chef again. Medicine has to be last. The reason I became a sommelier was just to develop my skills, and it worked to increase my abilities as a chef. You always find a friend in someone who knows their wine. I'm here to beat one of my wine suppliers. Can't wait. Can you believe it? South Africa has the longest wine route in the world. The R62 wine route spans a distance of 850 kilometers from Cape Town to Port Elizabeth. You put, my opinion has always been that South Africa can compete on the world level of trade for all of the wines. Their wines are magnificent. 100%. No, no. no we will never be in Chauveau Blanc, in Chateau Petrus, or, or, or in Ozon. But South Africa has a nice terroir, has a beautiful climate, all ingredients to make good wines. South Africa is renowned for beautiful wines. There's beautiful farm vineyards around Cape Town and the outlying regions. So it's quite a symbiotic relationship between the producers of the food products and the winemakers. I think the, the most important thing is the, the, the people, the passion that the people have for making wine. We have a history, but the, the winemaking only started the last two decades, the, the end of the apartheid, and that we could export our wines to the world. Uh, but it's, I want to emphasize the passion and the love for wine. Considered a new world wine country, the winemaking tradition in South Africa actually dates back over 350 years. Camisa Rosé from South Africa and my trout is going to be perfect. If I find a great wine, sometimes I'll design a dish for it, but more often I, I design dishes because of whatever whimsy is carrying me and what, I, what I'm feeling like at the, at the time. People are always surprised when they come to Cape Town of the different types of cuisine and types of restaurants that we have. There's a lot of foodie people, people that are interested in food and the products of food, and they create beautiful products. We are going to make a trout dish. This trout is made from local salmon trout that we smoke ourselves, and we add a bit of rooibos tea, which is a really beautiful local element. I've cooked all around the world. The produce here I find to be more organic. So the trout is cured, smoked, and then we sear it off a little bit. And I just think that the quality produces a better dish. A little bit of molecular gastronomy. We use a bit of xanthan gum, made a macadamia gel. I prefer to keep things simple, although I like to introduce interesting elements and use molecular gastronomy a little bit. I don't like to confuse people's palate. It's just to add a bit of interest. Artistry turns up the heat. It is now venison time. Venison in South Africa is a very interesting meat. It's, it's local, it's fresh, it's organic. You know who shot it, you, you know. 
This is a very rich meat, has really rich flavors. <laughs> we base venison because it tends to be lower in fat, and fat adds flavor. So that's what you want, beautiful golden crust. The idea is to use beautiful ingredients, keep it simple, and present them to the guests in the most holistic and, and magical way that you can imagine. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I mean, it's funny, I don't think there's anything in particular that I like making more than other things. I really enjoy food and, you know, a typical woman, I change my mind about what I like very often. The challenge is to keep me interested, I think. <laughs>
chefs like me that obviously cooks and likes to eat out as well, we enjoy that to taste something different. I'm going to start adding the fish just very lightly, just going to dip in there and then it goes into the pan. And then the same with the shrimps. I enjoy big flavors, but saying that again, I mean, I like to mix it up a little bit. I want the color to be not too dark, sort of like slightly golden brown, just starting to get a bit of color. I think what people say about my food is that they can taste something a little bit sophisticated, but still familiar. So all these seafood are available in the area, all around the Cape area. Uh, Cape Town obviously uh, being next to the coast, we're quite spoiled with seafood. I think there's a lot of youngsters that I even meet uh, that starts to work with us in the kitchen uh, that I think starts for the wrong reason because they want to be famous more than because they have a real true love for food. So don't start wanting to become a celebrity. Start wanting to be a, a great chef. So now just for our fish. And when you serve this, you really have to serve it with the onions. The onions when you cook it, they turn nice and sweet. The reason I, I cook that curry pickled uh, seafood dish is because it's so true to the Cape and the Cape area. I like to serve something fresh with it. So I'm doing an apple and celery salad, and to that I'm adding some of these soaked raisins, just soaked in warm water, just to soften them a little bit. And it's really something that I grew up with. I, I, ever since I can remember, we, 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 uh, we used to eat it, and I remember when my mom used to make it. Okay, so this is my Cape Town curry pickled seafood with apple and celery salad, sultanas and freshly baked bread. Enjoy. It's really just part of who I am and where I come from. So there you have it. A look at Cape Town and its food seen through the eyes of those that define it. Chef Ruben Riffle, a South African born cooking sensation. Just the smell of it, Cape Town's got it all for me. Jocelyn Myers Adam, an Epicurean transplant, here to stay. The challenge is to keep me interested, I think. <laughs> and of course, Chef Luke Dale Roberts and his test kitchen. Straight A's for flavor. This is the real deal. If Cape Town was keeping its food flavors a secret, well, the secret is now out. One of the world's great food destinations, revealed here on Three Chefs, One City. All right, that's a wrap.